Mission Impossible is set to finally debut. This is a movie. I love the Mission Impossible franchise. It's one of the few franchises that I feel like as it's gone on, it's only continued to get better and better, especially the last three Mission Impossible movies, Ghost Protocol, Rogue Nation, and Fallout. And here we are on the precipice of the seventh one, Mission Impossible 7, Dead Reckoning Part 1. What, however this official title is, it's going to destroy Indiana Jones. Uh, because Mission Impossible is set to have a box office opening worldwide that is bigger than what we have right now in totality for Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Indiana <laughs> Jones, as we sit here, is at less than $250 million worldwide. That's the projected worldwide opening for Mission Impossible. And if I were betting, I would say it probably overperforms a little bit, if I had to guess, based on the expected positive word of mouth. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning set for record-breaking opening at the global box office. And we all know who Tom Cruise and Ethan Hunt is. Per deadline, projections indicated estimated earning of $250 million from Wednesday through Sunday, solidifying its status as one of the franchise's most successful releases. Domestically, the film is expected to bring in $90 million, while internationally projected to contribute an impressive $160 million in total earnings. One of the important things to realize about kind of the Mission Impossible franchise or even something like we saw with Top Gun Maverick, if the movie's well-received, these, these things are going to have way better legs than a lot of the big comic book movies we usually yes. look at. So if yes. you see something like, oh, wow, it only had a 60% drop for a comic book movie, that's considered like a positive thing this day and age. Yeah. Whereas when you go back, you look at, say, Mission Impossible Fallout with Henry Cavill that came out in uh in 2008 well comic book movies are very front-loaded it's not that they're mm -hmm. like it's not that they're front-loaded and they don't make money after the fact but comic book movie fans want to go see that movie opening weekend so they can be part of the discussion part of the no debate spoilers. part of the all that no spoilers yeah. whereas a tom cruise movie is more of a general audience thing where people are just kind of like yeah here there's a new tom cruise movie want to make plans to go see it with the family and all this stuff you know what i mean so it's just a different dynamic yeah so this is fallout one big international box office for fall all out when you look open to 61 million 40 percent drop 40 percent drop 40 percent drop you know really solid legs for the movie as a whole um obviously we saw ridiculous drops or lack thereof for top gun maverick what was it like 20 or 27 20, yeah in mm -hmm. its in its first weekend or in its second weekend drop so that will really obviously be the key here uh how well does it hold and i'm gonna be very fair and honest when it comes to mission impossible in the same way we talked about the budget being a problem for dial of destiny this is a movie that probably needs to hit around 850 to 900 million dollars just to break even it has a budget of 290 million dollars uh because if you remember uh, when Tom Cruise went viral for screaming on set about the COVID rules, that was because they were like the first people that were doing things during COVID. They had a lot of big budget expenditures that happened during COVID, trying to film during the pandemic. So this is a big budget movie that needs to do really big things, despite a lot of competition later down the line with Oppenheimer and Barbie just a week later. Mm -hmm. But one thing is for sure that the, the destiny for this movie will be to officially kill Indiana Jones. Like this, this thing will have no legs after this. We talked about Indiana Jones yesterday, Jeremy, when you were asking me what range I think it was. I saw some estimates that say they're probably expecting like 335 to 385 for this movie total that is worldwide. So bad. Which is which is right in that range where I told you it was yeah. probably gonna land in. Yeah. That is so bad. I don't think we fully comprehended just how bad this is. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, a 300 and reportedly up to 330, you know, is what we've heard. It's probably even more than that. A, a film that's that much just on production budget alone, and it's only going to end up getting around 350 to 360, somewhere in that ballpark <laughs> worldwide. This is a disaster. And yeah. you get what you deserve. There is no scenario where this should have happened in a world operating where Lucasfilm is making films for the fans and for the general public, but they have decided to make movies for activists, whereas Mission Impossible, Tom Cruise are making films for fans and the general public. There's no agenda. There's no narrative. There's no anything other than, hey, thank you for supporting this. We want to make this film. We want to make the best action film we can. We want to entertain all of you. And that's exactly what they continue to do. Mission Impossible is one of the rare franchises. Is there any franchise that's gotten consistently better over time like this one? Like the only misstep is part two. I think everybody would agree with that. Miss two is the only one that really wants to step back. But then again, you got improvement in three. 
Then from three to four, you got you just got an improvement every time yeah. now. I mean, other than Star so, Wars, I can't think of another franchise that's just improved over time that way. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Star Wars has really, really got that longevity going. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, Mission Impossible is a special, special franchise, and it's all because of Tom Cruise. It really is. It, he is the connective tissue, and um, he's done a fantastic job. Even at his age now, it's just insane that this guy continues to produce top-tier action films on the level he is and i uh, can't wait man it's good we've got several films coming out right now that people are looking forward to